Christ in Our Neighborhood conversation where Joyce and I break open Sunday's gospel with Bishop John. If you'd like to do this with family and friends, everything you need is on the Diocese of Phoenix website and our Christ in Our Neighborhood section. Welcome back, Bishop. Thanks, Jen. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Bishop. How's your week? Going great. And this week we're going to hear from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verses 30 to 37. So, Bishop, would you like to start us off with reading the reflection? Certainly. Uh, So Jesus is more than satisfied with his identity. He knows who he is, and because of that, he knows where he is going. On his way to Jerusalem, we read, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. You know, when we know who we are, we know where we are going. The apostles do not understand the saying of Jesus because they neither understand their own identity nor where they are going. This is made evident when Jesus catches them discussing among themselves on the way who is the greatest. Jealousy and self-ambition, as St. James writes, does indeed exist. These apostles are vying for greatness, even as Jesus reveals his own humility. Once again, Jesus offers them a lesson. If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Jesus, who is God, has accepted his true identity to be the servant of all. All right. And so, Bishop, what is this week's question? Well, when we know who we are, then we know our purpose and mission. So do you know your mission? I think that's always something that we always have to return to. So often, as Christians, we forget that we are baptized in Christ and that we have a share in his divine nature. And because of that, we tend to lose sight of um, our, our general mission. That is, we are indeed one with Christ as we move forward, um, rather than say, we're here just he, another human being b- bumping along as we look up to heaven to see Jesus. So uh, I think that that but that's a daily task to remember who we are before we step out on mission. Love that. Who I who I am when I think about that, I had a very wise friend tell me once, Joyce, who you are is not what you do. Right. So who we are is, you know, we're beloved daughters of God, beloved son of God. And so when we know that, then the, the mission is clear. Like mission one, get myself and my family to heaven. <laughs> mission two, use the gifts and the resources God's given me to accomplish that. Um, and when I step outside of that mission or I forget who I am and what the mission is, then it's, it's, easy, to get, it's easy to get sidetracked. So Bishop, please never give me anything with math. Okay. It's not my call. <laughs> um, it's just it's just such a it's such a wonderful awakening to realize that it's not about what we do, it's who we are and who we are in Christ. So good. Well, so for me, of course, as a married woman, my primary mission is to my husband and, and my family. But what I think, what are my daily missions? And I go on walks most mornings and pray the rosary. And it seems like that's when I get my mission for the day. So I'll reflect on let's say the mystery of the Annunciation where the angel reveals who Mary is and what her mission is. And in that same way with so many of the mysteries, I can be praying and reflecting. And in that time, it's like the Lord will put someone on my heart that I need to pray for, that I need to reach out to, that I need to be present to. And so that's how in that time he really reveals to me, I'm going to call them the mini missions. You know, what, who I am, what about me needs to serve something in someone else. Yeah. For this Perfect. day. That's great. Oh, so, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And we have a task. We have some homework for this week, Bishop. All right. What when was that? the last time you were on a retreat? When was the last time you had a spiritual day for yourself? Disrupting your busy life with, say, a spiritual walk uh, in the park or a few days of retreat at a monastery will help you to discover and rediscover who you are as a Christian and and also where you are going. Uh, so set the time in your calendar for a retreat or days of reflection in the next year. You need it. I, I, sometimes it just means just getting out your calendar, circling a day and saying, this day is between me and God. That's it. <sighs> Such great this. advice. Yes, let's, definitely. Let's do it. All right. Well, thank you, Bishop. And we'll see you again next week. Thank you. For more information on Christ in Our Neighborhood and resources to start your own group, visit the Christ in Our Neighborhood section at the Diocese of Phoenix website.